Nita manja yumar lorda wata no sanas dika. Dovre kun mili wosa slima po wanga sabana nuta. Dava dumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Tong hite mosi jotia yumba ditawa e bawa tune ruta. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosanan hansata. E jikonu tai yun yuna palawa lit basha makaranwa ni rotu guru ni chorota. Da hupa bosa kurata go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Da hupa bosa kurata go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Kava dumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Kava dumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Muli urawa iberendia tia wishnu nunga se. Utaiti ramat mandra kotu sa minarin kadin. Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Yeah, you will. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter, but the contract disputes over the restoration project have prolonged it. The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. I hear you. Let me take care of this. Damn thing's stuck. Wana jung konata telu era guno tuna. Dai rento ron kawere kare papa nala ranchinga. Te rache a wemeno toto orere seni senten. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. Charanana gundoso remina kelorak tu kuro katada. 
Not even an apology. That won't do at all. This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. This doesn't have anything to do with you, stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. Just my luck. Someone who wants to be a hero. Why don't you run along before you get hurt? Then you shouldn't have gotten involved. It was difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it, but now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly, yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel it as a... You... You are the darkness, in which all my... exists to feed your power and my life my life is yours i beg you please let me die <laughs> Tosentorinteri, Dear Winter Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu, Ninso Telepachan Gorsadara Nane, Grail Gra, the Lunuta Cholorin. I don't 
don't know what it is, but you look different. It's hard to explain, but it's, uh, it's good to see. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. You have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its touch upon you. Do not let the higher mysteries blind you to others. Turning away from that which tempts you or causes you fear is not strength. Facing it is. I have seen you display many acts of mercy, charity in our journey. Why? Even if it weakens those you help, even if it robs them of the strength needed to grow, you have been chased, hounded since our first meeting, and it has only made you stronger, more capable. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do, and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. So you may think. But it will be best to strike first. Your allies are allies by circumstance, and they will not hesitate to do the same to you if you continue down your path. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static, untested. It is only through interaction, through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the Force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Yes, have you come with questions? Then ask and I will do my best to answer. Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark, categorize it. Perhaps I am neither, and I hold both as what they are, pieces of a whole. Know that I am your teacher, and that is enough. What do you wish to hear? That I once believed in the Code of the Jedi? That I felt the call of the Sith? That perhaps once I held the galaxy by its throat? That for every good work that I did, I brought equal harm upon the galaxy? That perhaps what the greatest of the Sith Lords knew of evil they learned from me? What would it matter now? There is only so much comfort in knowing such things, and it is not who I am now. Dark places in the galaxy where few tread, ancient centers of learning, of knowledge, but I did not walk alone. To be united by hatred is a fragile alliance at best. My will was not law. There were disagreements, ambition, and hunger for power. There are techniques within the Force against which there is no defense. I 
was cast down, stripped of my power, exiled. I suffered indignities and fell into darkness. From me, my mistakes, and use that knowledge to become greater than I. That is all I ask of you, and that is all I desire. In you, all my hopes rest for the future, for the Force. If it means so much to you, then this I swear to you upon my life, upon our lives, that when your training is complete, I will answer everything. There shall be no more shadows between us, only truth that exists between master and apprentice. stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in Residential Module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. Something I can help you with? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. 
If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragas for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. Tell you what. You find fuel contracts for Citadel Station, and I'll be sure to pay you for it. Soldier's honor. I'll be waiting. Something I can help you with? Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped, and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Batono is the overseer of dock operations for Zerka, and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the docking bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. Thank you. Keep me updated. What is it? They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after your place under house arrest. Some sort of electrical malfunction, a side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack, enabled them to escape. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. I can't imagine anyone would want the help of killers like them. Perhaps the exchange, but they've never openly crossed us before. There are two of them, a Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well-armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. All right, just be careful. We've already lost two good officers to them. What is it? You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, We'd like to know if he's safe. 